<laughs> you are so drunk or you have epilepsy. What's your name? Uh, my name is Rosemary High. Rosemary High. What are you doing out here tonight in the meatpacking district of New York? Actually, I need to get this phone call. Sorry! Can you believe this bitch? Too much sex in the city ruined you, honey. This is Mike Diamond in the meatpacking district of New York City, about to begin a glamorous night out on the town. I'm here with Brent, who is with the Belvedere Liquor and Beverage Company. What's going on here tonight, Brent? Tonight we are launching the brand new maceration, Belvedere Pink Grapefruit. Um, beautiful fresh flavors, uh, pink grapefruit, a little bit of ginger and citrus there as well. So we've got some cocktails with that. We've also got the other macerations on offer as well. So it's just a cocktail party to enjoy the macerations. I think the important question is what the hell does maceration mean? Maceration is, it's, it's a process where Belvedere... You don't even know. I'm trying to make... Will maceration nice. make my palms grow hair? It's perfectly natural. Maceration is perfectly natural. Yeah. Now, I notice these bottles are glued down. Why? I think it's going to get a little bit out of control later, so uh, just trying to... And like somebody might try to steal one? Yeah. And what about those? Are those glued down over there? It's 40% alcohol, 80 proof, one liter, and it's mine. This is Mike Diamond, and I am party in New York City style, and you're so not getting this back. Woohoo! This is DJ Josh Sparber. He's Jewish. Hi. Hi, Shalom. Hey, Josh. What's the difference between Jewish girls and Jello? What? Jello moves when you eat it. <laughs> it's terrible. Don't you smile and walk away, girl. Hi. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Oh, we got models in the house and all kinds of crazy shit here. I don't know what's happening. You work in marketing and you're a model slash hooker. Yes. Right. More, right. more of a hooker than a model. Yeah. He, he fucks for money, but yeah. it's fine. I can totally smell it. Yeah. It, it, I mean, when it's right, it's right, right? <laughs> what does the color pink mean to you? Sex. Are you from New York? I'm from New York, yeah. Oh, you're a bottom. Mm, I'm versatile. <laughs> How about you? <laughs> yeah, I'm versatile. Everybody I can cry before or after. This is Aaron Hicklin, the editor of Out Magazine. How are you tonight, Aaron? I'm doing splendidly, thank you. So tell me, what is Out Magazine? For someone who may not be familiar with the ethos of Out Magazine, what is it all about? Uh, Out Magazine is uh, the world's biggest selling magazine for the gay community. Um, it's a fashion uh, pop culture magazine. Um, it's, uh, you know, for shorthand, I would say it's a sort of gay equivalent of GQ or Details. Uh, although some people would say that Details is the gay equivalent of Details. Um, Snap! <laughs> ouch! But Out Magazine has been growing for 17 years now. We have our biggest circulation we've had in, in uh, two decades. Uh, we are in the midst of a very significant transition as are all traditional media. Like male to female. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're too sharp for me tonight. This Belvedere uh, oh, that pink, pink grapefruit, grapefruit martini vodka. goes straight to my head. Um, no, the transition is all about digital media. Um, we have an iPad edition, we have um, a, a, an iPhone application, uh, we have a very robust digital presence. Uh, the way people access and read the media now is um, very, very different to when I was growing up and, um, and much more exciting and much more engaged and much more interactive and that's something that Out Magazine um, is at the forefront of. But I think the question on everybody's mind tonight, Aaron, when is Out doing a feature about me? Oh, I know, I've been asked so many times tonight about that. It's extraordinary. You Only have a, by me, though. You have a lot of fans in that room. Um, well, uh, how quick can you give me a hand job? Uh, done. <laughs> I'm with professional party boy Dean Denman. Dean, what is rocking here tonight? The Out Magazine party people are here, and it's a rockin' happy house, let me tell you. Do you feel my phone vibrating in my pocket? I do. It's one or the other. Maybe we have a dual vibration going on. Maybe we do, Dean. Maybe we do. Breaking story. Woman with big puffy hair sitting by a fan. Come on. Let's roll. Girl, your hair is blowing like crazy. No, thank you. Are you sitting by this fan on purpose? I am. So do you like find the fan in whatever room you're in? I do. It's my Beyonce fan. It's your Beyonce fan. It's my Beyonce fan. Work it. Yes, girl. Yes, girl. Sweet dream. I made of these. What are you doing here at the party tonight, girl? I'm just enjoying, enjoying Belvedere's new, you know, launch of that pink grapefruit. It's really delicious. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> are you stoned? A little bit. Work. <laughs> now tell me something that nobody knows about you. 
something that no one knows about me. I am a secret hoarder. Girl, I'm watching Hoarder season one right now. I don't hoard like food or things like that. I hoard shoes and accessories and vintage clothes and I like I go to Europe I go to Europe and I buy whatever I can find and then I hoard it and it's kind of creepy because I can't even wear half the stuff it's just in my house can you see the floor in your apartment I can see the fo floor um, I kind of push stuff underneath the bed and kind of hide it <laughs> you dirty and nasty <laughs> It's clean, it's folded, but... You know, I liked you when I walked over here. Oh, no, no, no. Not no, so no. much now. I'm not a nasty whore. My house does not stink. <laughs> if you have to say it, it ain't true. Look how firm his butt is in his little jeans. It's a cute little butt. If you want to see more videos like this, just keep on checking out Fearth TV videos on Fearth.com. This is Mike Diamond, surrounded by young people with firm bodies. What's your name? Rob. Rob, you made that up. You're a liar. I know it's not my name. I, you're a I get nervous I get, on camera. I can hear the lies. It's all lies. You get nervous on my camera? My underwear is pink, though. Why do you get nervous on camera? It's just a, it's been shy. Then how did you do that clip on Xtube? By the way, you were amazing. Thanks. <laughs> what do you do, fake Rob? I work in You're theater lying. Business, you're making so it up right now. You're making me nervous. Am I? This is true. How about now? The <laughs> you got some meaty buns. Are you a runner, a bicyclist, a jogger? All of the above. Really? Yes. You got some meaty buns, huh? Not a run. Are you Jewish? The, you no. Know, no. Yes. Everything you say is a lie. No always says that. Do you know why? Because I look really Jewish. No, you've got soulful, gefilte fish loving eyes. <laughs> What's your name? My name is um, Jack McAllister. Hi, Jack. If you're Jack, I'm Rob then. Well, then I guess we're Jack and Rob. Awesome. I jacked Rob once. He came all over my shoes. You're so young and dewy. What are you, about 25? Two. You're 22? Mm-hmm. I gotta go. This is Mike Diamond, and I'm at some kind of exciting party in New York City where they let young, very young people in. You know what's so great about this vodka? What's that? It's making me sleepy. <laughs> it's good vodka. What should I do, Dean? Have another one.